I needed some shit with some bob in it. I put past it with that blunt in my mouth. Watch the swerving that was bad. A cop in it. My bitch got good pieces. I heard across the country. I finished the show with a hop in it. I got me a bit. I did it to Jimmy. I'm still with the shits. I'm a hot nigga. Oh, you asking for pictures with Nick? What's your name? Get the fuck out the spot, nigga. Yo, yo, what's going on? What's up? It's your boy. And so uh, today it is Wednesday, June 17th. The hair six is dropped today. So I am leaving a little bit later just because I do have time and I have a reservation at Foot Locker and Champs to pick them up no later than 7 o'clock or 7 p.m. just because, you know, it is a weekday and uh, some people do have work. So, um... Yeah, that's that. And then now we get to go back to our kind of old filming session where we get like a small little vlog type and then we hurry up and transition over to a uh, review. But, uh, you know, if you guys like the old way or the new way, whatever, however you want to say it, um, the way that we've been recording, you know, just say something. Or if you like this way where I'm not talking as much, but, you know, I'm sure you guys the process getting ready, picking up the shoes and like reviewing them. Let me know. Um, yeah, it, it's hot out here. It's like 80 degrees. Uh, Allie is missing this, so maybe she's getting it even worse because she's in Texas right now. She won't be back to the end of June. So that means you're going to be seeing me for at least uh, until, like I said, the end of June, starting July, then we'll be back and we'll be doing reviews. But I have at least a good four or five videos to get out. So I guess without further ado, um, I'm going to go ahead, uh, we're gonna go ahead to Tyrone. If you know, if you ever see my video like tomorrow after the quarantine or whatever, we're gonna go ahead to Tyrone, see what's up, and then um, yeah, come back, get a review on the hair sixes, and yeah, keep it moving. Bang outside, hang outside. Don't come out the house, cause the gang outside. Bang outside, hang outside. Don't come out the house, cause the gang outside. All right, so I made a huge miscalculation thinking that these pairs are just gonna be some average like GRs or whatever. Um, I mean, they are pretty easy to get right now, but they are starting to sell out. Uh, it wasn't an instant sellout, but they are. So, went to my local mall in Tyrone in St. Pete. Um, finish line in Shoe Palace sold out. Right now, we are at, oh man, zoom in on that. We're at UTC right now, so. Come back over here. So we're at UTC. I had to travel all the way down to Sarasota in order to get these shoes. So I do have a reservation for a size 12 at Champ. So let's hurry up, get in here, get these, get back to my city. And uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, boys. Went in, got what we came for, you know what I'm saying? Size 12 reserved for me. Um, and then yeah they also gave me the easy cinders as well they put in a nice box wrapped it up made sure nobody would see what i'm walking out the mall with it was just because you know what i'm saying gotta keep this on the download but it's just because i won the raffle and i'm guessing they had cinders like left over i don't i don't really know what happened but yeah i walked out of uh utc with a pair of um size eight cinders so go figure so we're gonna go hurry up get back down to st pete which is about a what 30 to 45 minute drive if you drive like me that is um and yeah so let's let's get it yo so what's going on what's up it's your boy here and uh so finally made it back to st p we have the hair sixes in hands and without further ado let's hop right into this review starting off with the box so you got this box here i i kind of get the picture the mirror whatever you know kind of looks like the ferret the, the ferret the carrot has just been sitting in the sun and it just looks faded right now. But yeah, it comes in this nice uh, Air Jordan box. I like it honestly. And um, you know, even when I took a look at it in the car, you can definitely smell the new smell coming from the box itself. So you got Jordan right there. Again, you got your little carrot on top of the box. Jumpman in the corner. Down here, you got your little uh, Jumpman over there circle hoop thing whatever this is and then you have what is your tag that reads air jordan 6 retro colorway is neutral gray uh slash black white size 12 retail was 190 let's get out of nut and you know you got your all your good stuff under here 
nothing uh, of important. So yeah, let's hop right into the shoe. Coming in, you got this crazy look right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take a pair out. All right, so here we have it. The Air Jordan 6 hair, man. And uh, honestly, I can already say that if these had the Nike Air on the back, these would go crazy. Prices will be up, definitely. But um, so I can see right here on the sole and the bottom there, it look like there's some type of imperfections on here. But um, that's fine, that's cool. We're gonna get all into that in this review. But before we even get to the review, let's give you guys a little background knowledge on where this colorway comes from. So, so, reads. Hair Air Jordan 7, releasing back in 1992, the Hair Air Jordan 7 would be one of the most prominent, commemorative, uh, I don't know if I said that, pronounced that right, but yes, uh, commemorative makeups throughout the entire Air Jordan lineage, comprising of distinct Bugs Bunny, like hues, color hues. The hair model employs a light gray underlay with tonal hues of gray throughout the upper and the form of an overlay in addition Accents of red, yellow, black are spotted along the Bugs Bunny imagery throughout the traditional Air Jordan 7 detailing. So, what that means is pretty much they took the Hair 7s, Hair 7s colorway, and put it on a Retro 6, and this is what you have. But this is not Nike's first time doing this because if you remember, they did drop the PSG 6s, and I'm pretty sure they put the Bordet colorway on the PSG 6s. That's just me. So I'm thinking this is their second take, and I'm pretty sure Nike's probably gonna start um, doing this with you know some of the older 7s and putting it on 6s. And I mean, if they're doing this with the 6s, they might flip it and put it on some 7s. So you never know what Nike's got uh, got planned for you. But um, as always, let's hop right into this real quick. So as always, you guys know we start this off inside the shoe to the top to the laces, toe box all around, mid so bottom so so starting off from the inside of the shoe you have your hair pattern on the inside with this nice soft uh, material around the ankle parts and you got your hair behind the tongue of the shoe so there you go inside inside sole with the white jump man uh, and then you got your pattern your hair pattern all around just on the inside of the shoe and then coming up you got your tag right there so now coming on out of the shoe you have the pull tab with just the uh, red lining right here. Get a little closer, you see purple stitching on that side and opposite side as well. Uh, coming on down, you have your lace lock, your little carrot lace lock. So orange with the green little push down button. Uh, pretty cool detail for Jordan to do with the red jump man on there. Down here you got your, I don't know what to even call this part, I'm just gonna call it the diamond, all right? Uh, the diamond's red with the black jump man on there. You got your white laces. Uh, she would've went hard though to give you some um, some red laces, you know, some a different type of uh, laces to go with these shoes, you know. I just feel like it would be nice. So, coming on down, um, again, you got your red mesh material inside. Coming on down to the toe box. Now, the toe box is definitely uh, feeling like that Jordan 7 material. Uh, pretty much in all of the gray parts right here. Mm, I don't know. It's, it's, it's feeling real nice, real good. I don't even know what to call it. It's like new buck. Uh, I don't know, ball suede, <laughs> I don't know what these names are, but um, yeah, it feels really good. The leather on here looks nice and tumbled. We get a little closer in on that. It looks nice and tumbled right here. So, got your gray hands here, gray hands, gray hands, come on down. Gray hands, gray hands, you know how six is pretty much, how they make a six, I mean, I should say. Uh, pretty much the other white is just white, pure white, not that uh, sail colorway. Coming on down to the midsole now. Now, as you can see, like right there, some quality control issues like there. Uh, pretty much some uh, some some weird little quality uh, issues here on the on the midsole. But I mean, it is what it is. You know, if Nike's gonna make a shoe, you feel me? I feel like they should put as much work and time that he doing to, you know, like Travis Scott's off-whites. We're not going to include uh, Travis Scott ones, but any other Travis Scott off-white, whatever, you know, they, they put the time into it, but then it's like you get these, GRs, eh, you know. But, yeah, so you got your little red, fuchsia, reddish-pink uh, colorways coming around. Your air bubble, it's clear, pretty clear. 
probably gonna get milky after a while. Coming on to the back of the shoe, we got your Jumpman Air and purple stitching. Yeah, yeah, stitching is all right. I mean, yeah. Again, like, you're not gonna notice these flaws or anything like that unless somebody is like looking at your shoes like this. Like, like no, like, you know. I mean, it is what it is. It's fine. So, coming on down to the bottom, right here in your heel, small part of your heel, you got your little Easter green coming up right there. I was gonna say match my shirt, but this is a whole blue. But yeah, you got your Easter green right here, your Fuchsia colorway white, purple jump man, your little Jordan 6. Uh, so design right here in the bottom, and then your little fuchsia's on the side. So I think that is about it for the Air Jordan 6 pairs. Um, personally, what do I think of them? I, I like the sevens better. Like the Air sevens are way better than these. These are alright, but I'm just not a six fan as well. I mean, I am wearing my Travis Scott sixes right now, but. Only for the video, you know what I'm saying? Even though you guys won't see them, but yeah. We can't really ask Ali what she thinks about these, so um, I think that's about it. These are for sale. Uh, hit me up, uh, size 12. So with that being said, uh, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. We will be posting links, uh, release dates, how to cops, all that good stuff. I did not do a how to cop for these, the top threes, none of that because they're pretty much kind of GR, so you should definitely be able to get your uh, hands on a pair. But, um, yeah, I don't think I'm missing anything right now, so I will end the video off here. See you guys later. Peace out.